Welcome to this Chemscape presentation on GHS Basics. If you work with chemicals, this will provide you a quick overview or refresher on GHS classification and labeling of chemicals. GHS stands for the Globally Harmonized System of Classification and Labeling of Chemicals. It is an internationally agreed upon standard managed by the United Nations for hazardous material classification and labeling used around the world. There are two main parts to GHS, classification and communication. Every hazardous product is classified according to GHS rules. GHS provides guidance on classifying pure chemicals and mixtures. Communication of hazardous products is done using labels and safety data sheets. GHS provides standards for the information that is required to be on labels and SDSs. GHS classifies a hazardous product into three hazard groups, physical hazards, health hazards, and environmental hazards. A hazardous product can have physical health and environmental hazards. Each of these hazard groups is broken down into classes and categories. These classes and categories may differ by country. GHS has nine pictograms. Pictograms are graphic images that immediately show the user of a hazardous product what type of hazard is present. Here are the pictograms that represent health hazards. Each pictogram is broken down into specific hazard classes or categories. Here are the pictograms that represent physical hazards. Again, each pictogram is broken down into specific hazard classes or categories. Here are the pictograms that represent environmental hazards. Some countries like Canada and the US have not adopted the environment hazard group as they have different regulations to manage these hazards, but you still may see environment pictograms listed on SDSs. You will see GHS labels on all hazardous products arriving at your workplace. GHS requires nine elements to be on all primary or supplier labels. A label can answer for you the five fundamental questions you need to know to work with a product. What is the product? What are the hazards? How do I work safely with the product? What to do if there is an emergency? And where to go for more information? The Safety Data Sheet, or SDS, provides full details on the hazardous product and full instructions on how to work safely with the product. It spells out the exact steps you need to take if there ever was an emergency. Safety data sheets are sent with shipments of the product and can be obtained through the supplier of the product listed on the SDS or label. They can be stored electronically online with a SDS management product like SDS binders or in a binder at your facility. GHS lays out 16 sections that need to be on an SDS, including Section 1 for product identification, Section 2 for hazard identification, Section 3 for composition of the ingredients, Section 4 first aid measures, Section 5 for firefighting measures. Section 6 of an SDS lists accidental release measures, Section 7 handling and storage, Section 8 exposure controls and personal protection. Section 9 lists the physical and chemical properties of the hazardous product. Section 10 of the SDS lists the stability and reactivity of the hazardous product. Section 11, toxicological information. Section 12 lists ecological information. Section 13 of the SDS lists disposal considerations for the hazardous product. Section 14, transport information. Section 15, regulatory information. Section 16 is the final section of the SDS. This section is called More Information and lists details like who authored the SDS and date of preparation. If you are a manufacturer of chemicals, you are required to classify your hazardous products, prepare labels and SDSs, provide SDSs to your customers. If you are an employer, you are required to educate and train workers on hazardous products, Ensure chemical products are properly labeled. Prepare labels as necessary. Provide access to safety data sheets. And ensure measures are in place to protect the health and safety of your workers. 
If you work with chemicals, you are required to participate in chemical safety training programs, take necessary steps to protect yourself and your coworkers, and participate in identifying and controlling hazards. For more detail and training on hazardous product regulations, contact the local authority in your area. In the U.S., refer to OSHA HAZCOM, and in Canada, refer to WIMIS for hazardous product and workplace safety regulations.